goes all the way to this. He mentions even Tafresh Ayin Ches. So you're talking about Ayin Beis Ayin almost six years. Now the Rebbe Shab had this flow. I, when I learn this, I keep on looking at like, you know, what does each piece add to the other? But it's a puzzle that's tremendous. You know, if we, if we end up mastering the, the pieces of the puzzle and how the whole flow, we'll be different human beings. I can tell you that right now. I don't you know, that's going to take time. But it's definitely a puzzle, and each piece adds. And I think it could be done, you know. I'm trying to do as much as I can, I think, with a collaborative effort. We'll get there. It's so on the same theme about uh, uh, Kaylee and Orr? The, the, yeah, the but you know, it's like, it's like the whole terror one thing. Yeah, it's all about God. But it's so many details, it's, and I can't say it's one theme. You know, the, the, the God's in the details. Once you get into the details, each chapter is its own little side of it. I, I, it the general theme is, is how can the finite need the infinite? Yeah, but, but to say that, you know the Hemshul by saying that, that's like saying, you know, because the Torah is to serve God. That's not enough, you know. The question is how. And the question is how it works in every part, facet of life. That's why all this is so relevant. And really, this is, remember, this is, a, 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 this is the ultimate uh, a, a roadmap. This is a real blueprint. This is like reading the operator's manual in detail. You know, nobody ever wrote it this way. Whatever you learn in Chassidus, this is Mount Everest compared to it. I mean, how can you say that compared to Tanya? Tanya's Teresh Shabik Sav. Tanya's Teresh Shabik Sav, which is like the written Chumash, of course. But understanding, you don't understand Chumash without Rashi and without Teresh Shabal Peh. So Tanya is the written Chassidus. But this is the. This is like, uh, like, like learning in a way like Rampam, where he brings it all together. Each has its role. I'm just saying it, so just bear in mind that whatever you learn, there's more to come, and there's more in the past. Uh, you know, even the pace we learn here, which isn't fast, fast, but it's, you really would want to go back and see what you're referring to, suddenly you start realizing these are things you spoke about here. You know, it's like, uh, it's like a map. I'm writing right now. As I, as I, I keep writing, trying to uh, connect it all. But it's a lot going on here. And compared to Psalm 5, which I never learned, but uh, is it it's a totally different roadmap or something? Uh, it's not totally different. Some of Vav, some of Vav, his theme is. Some of Vav and Ayin Beis are almost like um, they complement each other. <laughs> it's true. It is almost like Ayin Beis. is in some of Vav and Kiel with more Ayin Beis. I think. Right. What did you say? Worse is in. Is it fair to say that? <laughs> You could say it some way. In some of the main emphasis is <laughs> how through our self-initiative and our efforts and exertion we reach, like through Kabbalah Sale, you reach beyond beyond, the, you know, beyond any uh, definition. And here he's, uh, he's trying to bring Elokus into definition and understand how we can relate to it in our existence. It's like the two parts of Chassidus. Sometimes you need the awe Sometimes you need the integration. It's like Ava and Yira. What do you say? I'm Some of love is more like Yira, and this is more like Ava. That's how I would put it. Is it Lamata Lamaila? Lamata, Lamata, Lamata. But remember, they both include both both of them. You'll find some of love themes of Ayin Beis and Ayin Beis. It's not exactly exclusively. Why? <laughs> In a way. Some of love is Yira. More like it. More and more. It's more about how through the effort of our work, our hard work. We reach the the Einareich of Elikus, and here he's trying to bring that Einareich into the integrated. I thought last week you said it was the the, the Ayn Beis was tracing from from here going back going back. Yeah, up it always goes. Remember, Atzmus is always beyond us. The question is where the more emphasis is. It more emphasis of us going out of ourselves to receive it all, or to bring it all within us. Ayin Beis itself talks about both. There's also the, the two Yichudim he talks about later, about that existence is really doesn't exist, it's all part of the essence, or existence itself is the essence. There's that type of discussion as well. I'm writing up something, a whole thing on the comparison of Samuel Bova and Ayin Beis. Samuel Bova I did very deep research on. I wrote up whole summaries on it. I did a lot of analysis. But did last week you said a statement that some of us bringing godliness down to this world, as I said, from Iron Base is more retracing our steps from the I don't recall saying that. No? 
I wouldn't. I wouldn't have said that. I don't. Right. Uh, well, said that it's going backwards. Going, I, but that's compared to some of That some of is not the other way. Some of is also from, you know. Generally speaking, what's known is that some of goes more according to the shita, which is the opinion that the, that the energy is uh, without particles. Energy is not shaped. And and I am based goes according to the shita, the opinion that the energy is shaped. So generally, it's about how shape becomes part of the divine. Is that push it? Huh? Is that push but let's not simplify it. It's not simple. They both, the, the same Rebbe, the same Chassidus, there's, there's no contradictions. No, but you said, you they both. I don't know. I remember. I know. No, 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 you're telling me a statement I made that I don't remember making. You're saying this is an operator's manual, so to speak. About so is Samachvav. So is Samachvav. And the difference in the. the, uh, the, uh, the how it affects our Avodah uh, Hashem? They both have very simple, they're, 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 there's no real fundamental difference. No. There's just emphasis. And some of all, the emphasis is a lot on the exertion and the effort of us. And through our breaking ourselves, we become containers for something that's completely beyond us. Like, for example, the, in the language of some of all, there's a lot about Ben and Evid. So, there, the big quality is even though Ben is a very, a son is a very high level, but the Evid, Ben Shanasa Evid, is the ultimate goal. That he's like an Evid. So he's like, so Ben, as he, as he brings from Zayar there, he hangs around in his father's palace and he has access. It's like Atsilas. But the real goal is to experience the divine that's beyond you. And I just feel so Hamish. So like. And, and, and Ayn Bey's, uh, Ayn Bey's the emphasis is not so much on the Evid, it's more like I could say on the Ben, maybe. How the Evid becomes a Ben. The Ben becomes an Evid here, and Sayyid Beis is more like the Ben. Yeah, the Evid becomes a Ben. Yeah. In other words, it's more about integration. But you have to remember, they both have each other's themes in them. Another expression, for example, difference would be in some of both, like for example, uh, the context of Atsilus. There's a big discussion. Is Atsilus Gilei Ahelam or Yesh Ma'ayin? Is Atsilus infinitely distant from the essence, the divine? Or is it Gilei Ahelam? Is it just revealing that which is concealed? So some of all is much more yesh ma'ayin. Because it's both. talking about, could be both. you know. It is both it is at the end, but the question is emphasis. And, and here is more on the Gilead Helen. Even though it's also, they all have, remember, there's no such thing as Ava without year, and there's no year without Ava. But if you talk about it, if you want to talk in general terms, some of all is more emphasis on the Evid part, or Ben Shanasa Evid. And Ayin Beis is more. But they, they actually complement each other. I understand why the Reverend Rashab did both, because... He, you know, they're both necessary in the picture. It all depends. Each of us does has to do both. There are times like this. For example, Shabbos in general, you're more like a Ben. In the weekdays, you're more like an Evet. You know, there's, in a person's life itself, when you're davening, you're more connected. It's all about Giluim and Etzim. The Evet part, the work, the hard work of Veda reaches the Etzim. The Ben part is Giluim. And you want the Etzim be Gilu. So some of all, there's a lot more about reaching the etzem, and here's more about bringing the etzem to Gili. But they both, they, you know, they all, they complement each other. I don't see any, it's not like, don't think of it like, first of all, it's written by the same Rebbe. Second of all, both Chassidus Chabad. And above all, it's one Tater. You know, it's like, it would be like saying, Tisha B'Av we fast, and, Kippur, uh, and, and on Purim we, you know, Yom Kippur we fast, and Purim we eat. So is there a contradiction? No, each one satisfies one part of the Aveda that we need to have. And as much as Purim has its milas, Yom Kippur has its, and vice versa. So really, you know, the Rebbe would always say, you learn Chassid, is the Maimarim of Shavuos, talks about how Shavuos is higher than everything. You learn Pesach, Maimarim, Pesach is higher than everything. Sukkah, Sukkah is higher. The Rebbe said, because in each Kufa, each period, is like a shah, it's a gate. And through that gate now go all the mitzvahs. So like the mitzvah, the, by my hope is Hazoya Beit Fei. You know, people choose a particular mitzvah they emphasize. It doesn't mean, God forbid, they don't do other mitzvahs. It means this is the mitzvah through which all the others so-called channel. Same thing in our work. Some of us are zvulun, some of us are yisachar. Some of us are business people, some of us are scholars, some of us are writers, some of us are fundraisers, whatever it may be. Everyone's doing their mission. doesn't mean zvulun has to have yisachar. Yisachar has to have zvulun. A balesik has to, do, has, to, has to learn Torah every day. A person who learns Torah every day has to give the stock. So it's all pieces, and each one brings... A, 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 let's put it this way. All of it together, you have atzmas. If you don't have it all together, you're missing something tremendous. 
I think some of Vov and I am Bay is using the language of the Rabbein. The Rebbe said some of Vov is the most you say this Dika Hemshech, and I am Bay is the deepest Hemshech. So some of Vov is most fundamental, and I am Bay is called the most the deepest. Did the, 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 the Friedrich Rebbe or the Rebbe like try to complete uh, add on to some I am Bay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when you learn. When you learn the Maimar, you can see how they all add to the Alter Rebbe, you know, and they all... Uh, well, everything's, uh, everything's uh, as you said, a, a discussion of time, time yeah. here, to, but did you ever do some things, things specifically with the, it was where Ryan Bays leaves off in, in the third Chayla, the, the Rebbe? I, 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 honestly, I have not yet learned it deep enough to be able to tell you what it leaves off, and, and then just find what, but I'm sure that we'll find stuff. But you have to first, First, we have to know what he says. Then we have to know what he doesn't say. And then we have to know who else adds to it. Uh, there's no question about it. I mean, when the Rebbe said certain Maimorim in the Tavsh and Tezvov, it sounded like he was, he was adding things to the Hamshach Tzadik Dal from the Friedrich Rebbe. But then when Ayin Beis emerged, we realized it was there. Because Tzadik Dal was built on Ayin Beis, Ayin Vov, to be precise. Look, there's a lot of ways to learn this uh, you know, To me, it's, as I mentioned many times, I think where Chassidus stands today is very much like where the Mishnah Gemara stood the time of the Tanoim and Amaroim. We have seven generations of Rabbeim. No one's really written a Rashi. No one's written a Rambam. No one's written a Shulchan Aruch. No one's... No, you know, we have... We, it, it, it's very much the Mishnah Gemara as it was taught. And I think a part of our role is to somewhat develop it at, on our, you know, the best way we can in explaining it. Um, that's one thing. And the second thing is that, uh, I mean, my, 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 if I had the time and ability, I would dream, my dream would be to take the words of the Alta Rebbe, put it into structure like an encyclopedic way, and then show how each Rebbe added to it, and how it turned into a, like a whole tree. That would be the, 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 the I see it somewhat, you know, I've, I've been doing it. Big Paris on the Tanya. <laughs> But it's more than Tanya, it's Lakuta Teira and Tanya. Because Tanya still doesn't have everything in it. You know, there's, there are entire subject matters that are not in Tanya. I mean, it's hidden, it's hinted in Tanya. But, but Lakuta Teira and Teira from the Alter Rebbe has things that Tanya don't specifically mention. Like even this thing, Primis Chetzein is Kelim. You'll find maybe a line or two in Tanya, but you're not going to find anything. In Alter Rebbe's Maimarim, you'll find explanations. And you'll see the word Mashiach mentioned in, in, in the Chumash. You know, it's at the... <coughs> okay, but you know. Want to learn a little more? Yes. V'ine ikr ha'achdus ha'kelim ha'er, u'pchines primis ha'kelim. The primary Abdus now is saying something new. We'll say something new. After explaining that the primis ha'kelim is not about functionality and not about its effect outside of the essence. It's a descriptive name describing the essence. He's now adding that the main fusion of container and energy is on the level of the Primi Sakeli. I mean, actually, he set this up. We knew that this is coming, but he's spelling it out now. Because the outer part of the container, because it's whole Indian, because it's Indian, its purpose, is to function, is to affect, is to, to do, to accomplish something. Functionality right away is outside of the essence. So that's an important factor here. Because remember we spoke about before about what we do and who we are. As soon as you talk about that you're doing something, even if you're doing an important shlichus, again, I'm not, emphasize, I'm not getting into how important mice is as, part of, as opposed to potential. But as soon as you are affecting, uh, effectuating is the word, impacting, doing something, you're already outside of the essence, because the essence doesn't have to go out of itself to do anything. It is, it is what it is. So the fact that we're on this earth, I know this, is, I'm, I'm emphasizing because we're so trained to think in terms of function, you know, we, we, by us, if it doesn't function, it's, it's meaningless. But it's not true. Based on this whole point here is something could be a complete essential entity and the fact that it's not functioning is just because we don't see it expressing itself. So even a Malak has a, a, a Panemius, a a you know... It doesn't say that here. Uh, you know, it, it, I'm sure they have a Panemius, but a Malak is primarily Chitzen and Sakelim, just messengers. But the bottom line here is that as soon as you're functioning, as soon as you're doing something, you're doing it already outside of you. You're going outside of the essence. 
ואם כן, הריהו בחינס נבדל גם בעצם הכלי. Therefore, it's not just separate from the oil. It's also separate and apart from the essential container. Because the essential container, the description, the, to put it this way, we talk about, let's say, the prodigy. Describing someone's essential personality, and for argument's sake right now, they're not functioning as that. They're not doing anything. This person is a prodigy. They're not acting on it. Or this person has unbelievable chesed. is a very loving person. But they're not, you don't see any love coming out of them right now. So, as soon as they do something called the function of love, based on this whole discussion, and that's why you needed this whole introduction, they're already doing something outside of them. Because if you remember, he proved earlier that the functionality of a container doesn't at all reflect its personality, because you can have someone who's doing a lot of loving things, and they're not necessarily fundamentally a loving person. They train themselves to do it. Or he spoke about the wise person. You can have a person who's wise because he's, bottom line, he, he has an ability to grasp ideas. He has, he has exerted himself and worked hard. But you can't call him that he's born with a prodigious mind. Not necessarily. So in other words, function means expression. Expression does not necessarily reflect the essence. Expression, even by a person who does have an essential, let's say, wisdom, and, he's, and now he's expressing, he's already going outside of who he actually is. So bottom line is the two names, the descriptive name and the functional name, the outer container, inner container, the outer container is functioning outside of the essence of the identity of the entity with the Sussex. Is that clear? Okay. That's why what it does is different. That's why it's Nivdal. That's why the, the, that he's, he's leading up to saying that's why only the Primus Akeli really gets ultimately united with the energy. Now, I just want to qualify. The bottom line is that at the end of the day we want our function you know, when you go out, let's say, to work, and you're out at work, doing something outside of yourself, you want that to be aligned with the Primi Sakeli, with who you are, and is aligned with your soul's purpose. But we're not there yet. Right now, he's just discussing it in terms of the fact of the matter is, when you go out, outside to work, I'm just saying, to function, you're a step out of your essence. So that part of you, the Chitzayin Sakeli, doesn't seem, at this stage in the mind, the Hemshech, is uniting with the energy itself. Because it's a function of it that's outside of it and not extension of it. Whereas the Primis Akeli, which is just a description of who you are, that is the part that unites and, 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 bind, and bond, bonds with the, with the energy. How does it express? If you say Chitzayin Sakeli is not the essence, then how does the Primis Akeli have any type of expression or doesn't express? He's going to ask this question. He's going to discuss it. Yeah. It's piece by piece by piece. It's very, this is very, very detailed. I'm telling you, I mean, the whole thing doesn't go back to the, for, I'm telling you, another 10 you pages. You've got a cup for the whole time. You've got a hot big cup, that's exactly right. <coughs> okay, v'im ken hariu b'chinus nivdom mina etzim akeli. So when we say this cup, as you used the example before, you drink from it, or you pour from it, the pouring element, which is the external part of the container, does not, is not, is nivdal, is separate from the inner part of the container that's containing the, the, the liquid. That's what he's saying. And for sure, and, uh, that it's separate from the energy, which is the liquid itself. So he's saying the chetzein sakeli is nivdal from the primi sakeli, and definitely from the air. Shara air ba'etzim eina ba'erech lifel dover chutz latz musay. Because air ba'etzim, Ayin, remember, Ayin, which is Ayin, which is essentially a state of selflessness, a complete, being, completely being encompassed in its source, is Be'etzem, is not the Erech, it's not uh, relative, not proportionate to having inf- anything outside of the Etzem. In other words, Ayin, in its purest personality, would not move out of the source. We discussed this, if you recall, you know, oil wants to go back to the source all the time. Even when it's outside, it wants to go back. So when it's there, it definitely doesn't want to come out. The only reason it comes out is because it's commanded to do so by the source. So air on its own, etzim air, is not the erech for them. The gamma shemeir is hakeli, and even when it does radiate and illuminate and uh, enlighten the keli, the container, it's a descent for it. It's not like it's in its comfort zone, 
and suddenly now, okay, great, I, I'm here. Even when it's there, it feels that it's not, it doesn't belong there. It's begrudgingly there. Al like he says. It's compelled to be there. But it's a Yeridah. It's basically saying the word Yeridah, not Bal Korch, the Yeridah. So again, so Ayin and Ayin air on its own. So basically, okay. Um Mekoshke and Shalifu Pulu say Sarus Bibiyah, Ein Zeberech Ha'er Kla. And definitely, he's saying any type of effect out there, outside of itself. And definitely the effect of creating a Biyah, Biyah Yitzir Asiyah, Ein Zeberech Ha'er Kla. It's completely, completely, uh, infinitely apart, uh, you know, disproportionate, or not, how do you say Be'erach, in a Be'erach. In the bearable. In the It's not. It's not in its. It's not in its ballpark. It's not in its league. So even more so. In other words, air bechal doesn't go outside that zone. And if it does, it's yirida, and definitely not to create. Now goes a whole piece, a long piece, in explaining how Isava's creation is is uh, is distant from the essence. The essence. But he's going to go back after... He kind of said it just now, the fact that the air is going out of its realm with a bag of short Yeah, yeah, but he's going to now elaborate how Isavis is outside of the Etzim. But all this is coming to remember, to bring back, he's going to come back to the point that because of that, you have to therefore say when there's a function outside, it's separate from the inner container and from the energy. Right now he's actually talking about the energy now. He's moved away from the Pneumis Akeli. So air is not about functioning... Air is... Is, is opposite, is, is not in the same league, is not in the same category as function outside of the essence. So here goes this whole longer piece now. I'm just saying, we'll come back to it, but it's a shtickle here. As it's known in the union of Havaya and Alakim. Remember, Havaya is the Mahava, Alakim is the container through which God creates. The Meshem Havaya, Loi Hoya Ev Shaliyah Sisavas Elements. From Shema Vay Yud Kevovke, they could not have been the creation of the worlds. That's why you need Havaya Elikim. Or the Chain Gabi Shema Vay and Nemer Havaya Chod. That's why we say Havaya Chod. We don't say Elikim Chod. We say Hashem Chod. Shema. The Gam La Achashin the Sabah Elmas had him tell him Yichod Imamish. In other words, Havaya is distant. Is apart from creation. And that's why even when there is a creation, you say, even after creation, the whole creation is bottle and yuchud, is completely subjugated and one with Havaya. Even though the Jude gave up, it manifests with all the letters going down. That's already post. You know, that's already like, almost like a Lakim right, affecting right. Havaya. It has it, but, but Havaya in its pure form, let's talk about the form. It's, it's, it's pure it and it's pristine. It's like a name for Atzimus or something. It doesn't say Atzimus, but yeah, you could say Shem Atzim, yeah. The name for light, the name for energy at this point, not container. Like Eirin Shofifni at Simpson would be Havaya. Simpson would be the K, the Elohim. The, the Kav would be K, uh, Teferis, so. Chesed Vur. Havaya is, un, is unencumbered uh, energy, basically. You know, think of it in its pure form. It has not yet taken on shape of it. It's talking about it in its purest form. Remember, at the end of the day, Hashem does manifest in the king. We're yeah, talking we, on its own. And we, use, we, we, we said before, there's a higher higher, bio, higher bio than the, the lower bio. And now he's going to say something which is very relevant to the, to, to the whole Hemshah, but not, he just says it here in short. And he says there's two ways to understand this. Ahdus. When you say Havaya Chod, she's saying Havaya is apart from existence. And from it can never come existence. And even with existence, Havaya Chod, it's all one. <clears throat> Elokim, you say Loshan Rabbim, for example. Elokim, you say it as a, as a, as a, as a, as a plural. It's a multiple Elokim. You know, what about the deal when we say Echad is not Yichud? Echad is a lower level. Uh, but you bring really, it, remember, you're you're listen, listen. You're bringing other memoriam into this right now. Never my memoriam a lot. It's a good point, but uh, for all practical purposes, echad is like yachid, relatively speaking. Because echad legabe ribui is what he's doing here. He's not going into distinct distinguishing between that. Remember, Havaya didn't say as atzmos itself. It's still higher than Havaya. We're talking about Havaya compared to creation. 
is echad. That's what. But I, 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 it still hits me funny when you say Abaya can't create. It's, not, it's, just, it's built in the definition, or it's, it's sort of like a sort of like consulting Abaya. It's sort of like a, I, I don't like the way it's phrased. Well, Meshem Havaya loy hoya efshel liyus isavas elmas. From the name Havaya, there could not have been the creation of the worlds. That's what he says. Yeah. Yeah. a funny thing yeah. Oh, that's how Havaya already how it manifests. Not Havaya in its own. The Eich Shenemar, the Inyan Hayichud, he's going to speak the two different ways that, as I said later in the Hemshech, in the series, this becomes very, very critical. The Eich Shenemar, the Hayichud. Im, there's two ways. You could define the unity of existence with godliness in two ways. One way is to say the world, after they were created, they're mamish the way they were before they were created from this perspective. This is like Shai Yechot Amunah. Oi, Shamitzi is Gufa Huelikus. Or existence itself is, is divine. Shem Bezei Fane HaYichot, the Momata Lamayla, or Momayla Lamata. These are the two types of Yichot, Momata Lamayla, Momatlamayla apparently is the first one. That existence doesn't really exist. That they're literally as they are before existence. They're all in other words encompassed in the root in the source. Or that they exist, but the existence itself is divine. <coughs> there are major differences between these two approaches, it's not just semantics. You say, that you say, Alts is God, God is Alts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, this is almost like different what we're speaking about, some of Vav and Ayin Beis, wow. in a way. Yeah. Like when you say Metzius itself, it's like the difference when, that the horses should understand that, they're not, that they should become not horses, or that they should know that they're horses and that they're subjugated. Each one has a mile over the other. You know, the Rebbe speaks about an Einoid and Einoid Movade. Right. There's nothing, or there's nothing without him. And with him, there is something. Which is higher? So Bechlach Siddha says Einoid is higher because it's like, but the Rebbe is Bechadish and Einoid Mavadi because with that you feel the essence even in existence that in a way is higher. The bottom line is it comes down to how much of how much is integrated in our existence or we have to completely lose our personalities. Both Yichudim are necessary, so it's not one is better than the other. They both have an advantage over the other. As I said before, there are times where you have to go out of yourself, like Yom Kippur. So this speaks of Yom Kippur, Purim and Yom Kippurim. Mm. Purim, in food, you can do what Yom Kippur you do without food. So then the question is, why do we need Yom Kippur? So Purim has it. No, because there are times you have to go out of yourself. You can't always do it integrated. Yom Kippur is actually ultimately a holier day. But Purim has the mila that you bring the power of Geru, the mila of the Tamadas, in food and drink. That would be like Mamail Lamata, where the Mitzias itself is Alakus, and Yom Kippur. The Mitzvah itself is not Mitzvah, it's like higher than Elkus. It really comes down to where is the bigger emphasis, is it on Elkus or is it on Mitzvah? But both of them are divine. So it's really not so relevant specifically right here, he just wanted to say it because it's very, very vital in the whole interface. Later he's going to say that, right now he's not calling it that. He calls it Yichud Mamayla Lamata or Mamata Lamayla. If you want a little more on this, and you may need someone to learn it with, Check out Teir Shalom. The Sikh of Yem Simchus Teir Tafresh Ayin Dalit. Something pretty. Uh, Which one? Simchus Teir Tafresh Ayin Dalit and Teir Shalom. Talks about this at length. It's, a, it's an amazing Sikh to read. Ayin Dalit. It's actually the same year that we're learning right now. Right. The Simchus Teir of this year. It's a Sikh. Wow. It's mind blowing. That's mind blowing stuff. It's short? Long was it? <laughs> it's not short. And that's where he says at the end, and oh, that's the source of that. At the end of that at the end of that long sikha there, it's it's, it's a sikh, it's, it's beautiful, it's a very, very powerful sikh. Rabbi Rashab speaks informally about this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Talks about is it a table or is it not a table? Mm-hmm. You gotta see that how he describes yeah. it. that it's a table and not a table and that's a table, it's a whole and what's the last conclusion? What was that conclusion? So the end line, end of it, after it, you can see that. Uh, you have a tater shawl there? 
He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a librarian. Feeder. Look for a word that starts with a tough. <laughs> Yeah, we have Torah Shalom right here. Anyway, uh, at the end of it, you could see it's like with a little tinge of the Rebbe Rashab says, like, the point of all this discussion, yes. you could see it's so deep, it's like nobody can really get it, but he says the point is that Bishas Mavais Bavem Mohatzatan, Bishas, you know with who you're dealing, you have a different type of heretz. It's about, like, you know, when you finish reading it, you see, man, this is another dimension. It's like when you learn this somewhat, you realize I'm not where it's at. Hmm. So and you know with who you're dealing with, you have a different dana It's like explanation really why we learn chassidus. At the end of the day, we may, we may not understand it all, but one thing you do know, that God is a lot more than we thought it was when we started. <laughs> you know? It's a little more than just a bigger human being. You know, a great father or something. Like, yeah, so. Al Kapan, there's two types of Yechud Kaneda. So however you would interpret it, Havaya Chod, the Yuchud like this or Yuchud like that, the bottom line is Havaya is apart from existence. And even what we explained earlier in chapter 235, the of we learned that the infinite light before the Chimtzum leaves room, gives space for Mitzis, for existence. Nesim Mokam Umitzis, sorry. It leaves room and Mitzis. That which we learned before the aliens of this room, that's Shem Alekim, that's not Havaya. But it's Alekim, how it's within Havaya. So the fact that there's a dimension in the divine infinite light that leaves room for existence, it does create. <laughs> but so Havaya it's, on its own is not, is not it seems like it does it's not going it, it, to yeah. he says what he says you're going to have to okay. adjust remember if you're not comfortable with, let me just say this yeah. doctor. if you're not comfortable with something that says nine bays I would advise you adjust because he's not going to adjust to you okay just let's get that clear because <laughs> remember whatever you learned yeah. it, it comes from something that the Rebbe Hashab knew you know Gracious Borel Elohim in the beginning he created. That's why you need Elohim. Elohim. In the beginning, he created Elohim. <laughs> That's a title. The best thing is also try to try to not bring prior preconceived ideas that you learned here, because this is huh? look when you climb up the Mount Everest, you, you try to forget the other mountains you climbed. You know, or else you're going to get stuck. And you'll think it's a different type of mountain. It's a different mountain here. This is, this is thorough. In Chassidus, everything is a piece. What you learn is always a piece. There's another side to it. There's never just, that's it. You know? And remember, everything is ultimately relative too, so. So that's a lekim, the way it's included in Havaya. That's it. Avil Masat, here goes again. Just so you're ready. Praise yourselves, you too. Avil Masat Shem Havaya Atzmei. But, but, but from the perspective of Shema Vaya itself, ain't a Shayach Gamze. Even this is not Shayach. Even this is not possible. That the divine light leaves room and Mitzias for existence. Havaya Mitzadatzme. So anything that leaves room, it's Elohim within Havaya. Elohim has to do with time and space. The Savas why they Shema Elohim, Kumashakasa, Bereish is Bar Elohim. And the Savas comes from Shem Elikim, like it says, Bereshu is Bara, not Havaya, Elikim. So you have to ask yourself when you first heard that Havaya is Moshe Mahava and Yudke Vavke, why then doesn't it say Bereshu is Bara Havaya? If he's Mahava. Huh? What? Yeah, but Bereshu is Bara Elikim. That comes after 26 times that it says on the Kim. There's reasons why it comes later, because he's about to create the man. But in the beginning, Elikim, Elikim says 26 times. Before the first time Avaya is mentioned. I think 26, right? Am I right? Makes sense, 26. Man. Yeah. So Elohim, it says, Bresh is about Elohim. Okay. Elohim, God, Bresh Elohim, never lost in Rabbim. And that's why Havaya, we said Havaya Echot. Elohim is lost in Rabbim. We say Elohim Kadeshimhu. Kumay Elohim Kadeshimhu. That God, you don't say Elohim Kaddish. 
So even though Elokim is Lashon Yachid, it's one God, but Elokim by definition means many. Eloka would be one, Elokim means many. So not God forbid many gods, it means it's how God manifests in a multiple process. So Elokim Kedeshim Hu, which is plural, not Elokim Kaddush. Like it says elsewhere. Vahainu, and he's explaining now, Vahainu Bechinus Eves Vekelim. Because Elokim is an Eves Vekelim. The Bechidei Yi Yisavu Shal Adei Akelim Davka. This plural, what do you mean Elokim Kedeshim? Why does it say Kedeshim? Because you're talking about ten Kelim. That's why it's plural. They're all alakus. They're all divine. Chesed, Gvur, and Teferis. You're looking at the Kelur or Gvur. Yeah. Gvur, okay. uh, the Because in order for there to be creation existence, you know, Savas is more than creation. Bria is, Savas is being. For there to be a being of existence is through the Kelim, through the containers, Dafka. The Ihu v'gamu yechad livri b'hen v'ayodi ma'ayin liyash. That's a Lushan from... No, no, from Megaris HaKedosh, ah. from Zeir. No, the first part is from... The Ihu v'gamu yechad means that he, Ihu, God, v'gamu and his containers are one, chad. Livri b'hen v'ayodom ma'ayin liyash. To create in them and through them the little translation of the word Gamoy is bones. Yeah, but, but, but before he spoke, Gamoy is two things. Sometimes it's meat, so sometimes it's containers. Yeah. Those are not supposed bones. <laughs> no, bones as opposed to like the skeleton. Yeah. As opposed to the, the kechis. Yeah. Okay, so here he goes. So, 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 leave it in the hand, so now he's asked another question. Well, you know, remember all this is part of explaining how Ayur is distant from from creation, from existence. So he says, And even though the general thing when we speak about Kalim, we're not talking about Kalim of Atsilas. We're talking about Kalim as they create in order for the create Nivraim, the creatures of Bri, Yitzir, and Asiya. The Mashakosab at Ageris HaKedish, what it says in Ageris HaKedish, Simechav, Iyu v'gamu yichad, Livrei, that's a language from Ageris HaKedish, Koi al-Kholos HaKelim, Gam Primis HaKelim. It talks about everything, not just Chitzayin HaKelim, it's talking about all Kelim, the whole, the whole concept of containers, including the internal, the inner containers. Shara Hisavasu Mina Eir, He's explaining this. I'll, I'll explain. Let me read it and then we'll explain. Shari Savasu in the air. His Savas comes from the energy, divine air. That Kaylee Matsman Ain't be Khotum Lahavas, Kima Air Huamahavit. Containers themselves cannot create. It's the air that has the power of Atmus that creates. Fa Emes with the Kaycha Savasu by Kaylee Dafka. The Kaycha Savas by Emes in truth are in the containers, but they can't do anything on their own. In other words, they basically, like inanimate, uh, think of them as instruments. They're the instruments to create. But they themselves are not, cannot, don't have the power to create. It would be like uh, instruments without a, uh, without a artisan, without a, uh, without the musician. the musician or the, whatever, the, the one who's using these tools. They're the tools. So here's how he puts it. One second. So let's just finish this point. Uh, like he says there, he doesn't say Garmui create. Yeah, he is one with his instruments, with his containers. One second. Through them, in other words, you know, it's Eir itself would not create. Because Eir is energy. Energy does not create. That's the whole point here. It's uh, distant from creation. You need the instruments, Elohim. To create, but the instruments themselves on their own are inanimate. There's no one doing anything. So it's the air that that what called animates, that energizes the containers, and then you can create. Think of an artist without a paintbrush. That's air. I mean, that's the artist. The artist is let's say the etzem. Air is the power. He has the ability to create art. But if he has no instruments, nothing's going to get created. He has no pen in his hand. He has no brush. He has no ink. He has no. Uh, doesn't have anything. So the, the, the so the kalim are through are through behen in them and through them. 
Interesting. What's the difference between Bahen Vayyad? What are they creating? More areas in case, in essence? Well, think of it this way. Mm. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're creating, you know, they're creating a lower level of really containers. That's what they're really creating. But that's what he's asking. Remember, he said before. Let's go back a moment. He said that the kalim is is uh, that avaya cannot create on its own. You need a lakim and avaya to create. Mm-hmm. But now he has to qualify this because then he's asking the chayla. Then all the creation is outside of atzilus. The containers themselves are not being created. So why are you saying that chetzenis akeli is nivdul from the previous akeli? You know, that's really what he's asking. You understand what I just said? No, I don't. I didn't uh, even hear you. He said like this. He's pointing, making the case here that Havaya and the air on its own cannot create. Yes, yes. They need a Lakim containers to yes. create. And then what's the point? Because he wants to bring out that any pu'ula, any function is outside of the essence. Okay. So he's asking the question. Yet outside of the essence is Biyah. So why do you have to say that the Chetzenis and Kerem of Atsilas are outside of the essence? They're not. They're the instruments that the Ihu uses to create Biyah outside of itself. So what's, what's outside of itself is Biyah, not Kalim of Atsilis. That's what he's asking, essentially. He's in the middle of doing that. He's going to answer. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah but what's happening with respect to the Shem of Ayah? What's the question with respect to the Shem of Ayah? No, the Shem of Ayah is not the beginning of the point. No, the Shem of Ayah is not the beginning of the point. The first point was that the external part of the containers are nivdal, are separate from the inner container and the energy. Mm-hmm. Why? Because everything that functions has to be outside of the essence. And then he began explaining, because Havaya is the essence, the air. Elokim mm-hmm. are the kalim. Mm-hmm. So he's saying, mm-hmm. but now the kalim are, are, are still in Atsilis. What's outside of the essence is what he creates, which is Biyah. Not absolute. So why do you have to say that the outer container is nivdal? So in other words, we're, we're saying the question is, it seems like the whole kalim is shame and terror. The whole kalim is shame and terror. Shame of Buddha is outside of Absolute and Nazi. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Seemingly. He's not going to stay with that. He's just, he's, yeah, break, he's breaking it into parts. He's going to answer that's not the case. Mm-hmm. That relatively speaking, the outer container in Absil is also is separate for the same reason. That's why it can affect what's separate. That's what he's going to say. But he's. But remember, we're in middle of a, in the middle of a paragraph here. It's just that there's a lot of things going on here. So bottom line is, what we have is like this. Okay. And so Oyer brings the Kayach of Atmos to create. Before but it cannot create, without, cannot create without the instruments. One second. Okay. The instruments, the Kalim, are what, through the, which she creates. Yeah. Vehicle. Okay, the vehicle. Elokim. On its own, it's not. But what they're creating is right now Biyah. At least that's where we are. Yes. Shari Hei Savas. You might say the whole Shem of Shem of Ayin includes the Kelim and the Tzilus. It's not Elokim. No, it's not Elokim. No, it is Elokim. Elokim is not Tzilus. The outer lo- containers of Tzilus. Shari Hei Savas whom Atzmus Dafke. One second. He's still explaining this because Hei Savas to bring anything into existence comes only from Atzmus Dafke exclusively. Valkena Eili is Dovuk Ba'Meir. That's what he says in the Gersa Kedus. Since the energy, the Eili is Dovuk is 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 bound. To the source, to the, the source of Oyer, Moir, to the Shuhum Eina Moir, and it's similar to the source, Harihu Amahavah, Kameshukasu Beregel Sakedusha. So we have the Etsem, Kech Atmos is the only thing that can create Yesh Mayim. Like he says, a Yesh that doesn't have a source, doesn't feel its source. It does it through Oyer, because Oyer is a, carries the power of Isavas from Atmos to creation. The, but, but how is it done? Rakshad Mina, Oyer be Etsem, Yev Shalise Isavas. But from the air by etzim, they can't be a sabbos. How is it behen by yodim shol the kalim? That could only be behen within and through the kalim. It's interesting. He's saying behen and he creates in them. He creates in them and through them. That maybe is the difference between tzilus and biyah. I don't know. Shakalim magbilim. The kalim is behen. One second. Shakalim magbilim is sa'ed because the containers limit. The flow of the energy, but if they limit the flow of the energy in order to, 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 in a way that allows them to create. So it's a paradox here. So, you, so, so in other words, without the like he says, but MS before he said the lotion, I miss okay, his avas by Kalim. The Kayak to create is in the Kalim, is not the Kim, but it's not their power. So it's, it's, it's I think the, the example with the artist is, 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 is perfect for this. I mean, at least. 
The artist, the etzem, is the power to create. No, no paintbrush and no paint can create anything. They're just inanimate tools. The oyer carries that essence into, and energizes the paintbrush and the tools, the instruments, and by that you create. So the oyer itself can't create, the keli itself can't create, they need both, basically. Was the person the interface between the oyer and the keli? No, I didn't. I mean, think about it. There's an oyer and the artist, that the, the artist is a person. No, 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 you have to say that the shema toya, that he's an artist, describes who he is, yeah. and to, for him to be able to actually create, he needs the shame of the function. So the interface is there between Edis and Caleb. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a lot of interfaces right. going on. Right? You have it simultaneously, you have uh, in the art itself, did, and the papers. Well, I can't say the Caleb like a strainer. They're restraining the, uh, the energy. And the energy flows through them. But it's a strainer, it's just restraining it. It's not really containing it. It's, it allows it to affect any mean, creation. Because it's not, because the Kelim are also containers to it. That's what yeah, a container but, means. Yeah, but it's not only it's not, it's not, this is not B'derech Maiver. It's called Kelim. That's been Bahen Val Yodam. It's not just Val Yodam, it's also Bahen. But isn't it mostly B'derech Maiver? That, that, that it should, not, it should be not necessarily. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. So when you say Bahen, he doesn't discuss this. He doesn't you, discuss this. When you say Bahen, no, no, Bahen is, the, is the air going to the people's like as opposed to a brush, As same. opposed to a paintbrush, a paintbrush just carries it. The paintbrush itself doesn't have. Here the Kelim are become one with the energy, and they, they, you know, it's, I think, more than just a regular container. But let's, let's continue well, what's here. What's it mean now in context of the MSD code? I have to finish the that. Is in the I'm sorry? What does it mean in our context of the code? The MSD code of Havas is in the code. Because, like, Elikim, the Koyach is in the Elikim. Not the Koyach, Koyach comes from Atmos. The power to create. He keeps saying, Havaya cannot create. It's Elikim. But it's not coming from itself, it's coming from a, 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 a higher than it. But it's, it's, it's the tools, like the br- paintbrush that actually paints. That's what he means. It's not clear. It needs a little bit more understanding. Because we say energy creates the energy without the, the tools won't create, the tools without the energy can't create. Okay. So then, you, then you can say that itself. He doesn't say the Kalim have the power to create. He says the Kayach of the power of creation is inside the Kalim. Yeah, because they are, because it's, 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 not the Kalim are creator, God forbid. It's God. Ihu. He says, Ihu. Amahava hu air. So the power to create is through the instruments, through the containers. In there, the Mahava is through the orb, but its connection with the... the it says, Yeah, yeah. Okay. The Ze'in Ham Tsoi Da'atzilus. And this is the interface of Atzilus. This is the intermediary of Atzilus. Shizor B'chinus Mamutza. This is the interface between Eden and Sof, infinite divine light, the elements to the world. So, Ba'abeyz Madreg is the Eres V'Kelem. This, this interface is through these two parts, Eidus and Kalim. Sha'eidus represent the Eidin Sof. Sha'eidus and Bli Gvul, Vakim and Pchinus Gvul. Eidus are infinite, without any end. Without any, uh, the, the end. Endless. Vakim and Pchinus Gvul. And the Kalim have a def- definition and finite. Vareheim Magbilim Esa'er. And they define and limit the energy, the light. Ukmashin is barely ill. Pedakuf Samachalif, like explained earlier. Chapter 161. The Inyan Hagbola who now explains, because in general, anything that's Hagbola, limit, defined, is in Kalim that silas, Gamba Pchinis Primus Hakelim. The Inyan Hagbola who Bukhlolos Hakelim that silas, the general Inyan of Hagbola, of limits, is the Kalim of that silas, also the inner Kalim. Vagamshin is barely ill Pedic Vesh Pevov. Now he's going to, another contradiction. Even though we've learned just the last, last, uh, the last chapter, chapter 286, that the inner containers are bligvul. We learned they're bligvul. Remember, we learned it's about the capacity, the potential. We learned that the Shema Ter describes the potential of God to create, which he can do all kinds of different, infinite ways. We know they don't have the definition of a functional container. When we say a functional name, you're saying what he does. It's defined by what he does. You're saying what he described, what he's capable of, it's infinite. That means that it can manifest in a multitude of revelations and different um, and, and all kinds of different fashions and forms. Hold on. Nevertheless, it's still Agbala and the Teir of Itzir. 
Meaning what? Is it limited to description? <coughs> it's a limited amount of description? <laughs> it says Kamoshi is by like we will explain. Okay, right. But what he means is saying that even though they have an element of bleak vulv, the most infinite potential, but the bottom line is they're still describing a finite thing. <coughs> For example, Chochem. Let's say Shem HaToyer Chochem. Is that bleak vulv? You're saying he can bleak vulv expresses Chochem, but it's Chochem, not Bina. When you say a person is a Baal Chesed, so it's true. Functionality is limit also in its expression. Whereas in the sh- ne- descriptive name, there's no limit in its expression. But it's limited in its shape and form. It is a chacham. You say a person is born as a prodigy, okay. it's a, it, that's what he means. So when it's teir and siur, it is al That's what he's referring to here. Man, this is like, you see how fine, fine, fine picking here? Like he picks it apart. So we have here all kinds of things. The oyer does not, is, is believable like that. But the air also is, you can ask the question, air is also believable. Only. Air the Chachman. Air the Chachman. But it's Air the Chachman, not Air the Bina. But he's not getting into that right now. Fine. The point of line is the Kalim have an element of believable, which is in their <coughs> capacity, their potential, but they are, in their description, they are describing it's like the colors of the flame. It's blue, red, whatever it is. The question I have here is, the Abish, he says here that the Abish needs uh, uh, buyer and Elephant. I think we have to stop because I have to go. Yeah, but yeah, go ahead, I'm listening. No, Eva Garmeru So that the artisan he needs his tools to create. And the tool is Elohim. And Habai is the creator, is the artist. How did the original how did our Elohim come about? Even within its seal, like the tool of El- if it's Elohim is a tool relative to Habaya, how did that come about originally without any tools to begin with? That's a good question. Well, it all goes back to the Zakaya Chagvul and Atmos. You know, the ability not to radiate. Yes. And that becomes the beginning of the power to uh, the Tzimtzum. And the Tzimtzum has a Rashimu. In other words, all the way in the Atzim and the Etzim, you're going to find the ability to limit the flow. And that becomes the root of what will later become Caleb. Right, right. It doesn't discuss that here. It discusses it elsewhere, but it talks about this. Right. Right. So it doesn't require a tool to create Elohim, so to speak? Initially, the first Elohim? The, tool like original, the, the original tool is God's ability to do anything. Is, is, is to, to limit the Kayach HaGvul, like Yes, Kayach HaVlik. The ability not to shine. That's where it originates from. But we can't relate to that without Caleb. That's, that's the point. That's why we need this whole structure. Because to get to that, still, it's all on the divine level. It's on God's terms. So God has the ability to radiate, his ability to withhold. withhold. And that will ultimately be the root of Er and Kalim. Those Eris and Kalim will become very separate from each other. They will become misaligned. They'll even be Shvirsa Kalim. And then they're going to come back together, which is what we're talking about here. I think we should stop here. Okay, so we stop here at page 582, middle of chapter 287, and we shall resume. Um,